Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock-solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become the confident man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com. For more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation, show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. This is the Confident Man Show, and I am Anupama Chatterjee. Today, we are talking with Mr. Bishal Sarkar on what is the number one, number one first impression killer for men and sometimes women. Yeah. And how we can fix that or what we can do about it. So, Bishal, mm-hmm. what do you think? What is the first impression you want to give, and what is the number one first impression killer for men? Yeah, that's a great topic. Uh, the reason we chose this topic for 2018 is to start with power, and you see. Any time you want to make a great first impression, you want to start make, with power. Yeah, exactly. So starting with power is always a great thing to do. Um, many people don't do that. Here, right. I'll tell you why. You see how we grew up. Recently, we spoke about exactly um, how your childhood is a big uh, reason exactly. for your stage fear, yes. right? You remember that show, and we spoke, you know, behavior, pressure, comparison, and how it installs all the challenges. In fact, we read a question from Vikas from New Delhi. Yes, um, um, about how his father has been a mm, tremendous, uh, in many ways, bad influence for him. <laughs> and um, many times, what we ha- what happens is when people go on into the presentation, they don't yes. know how to make a great first impression. So they work a lot in content. But let me tell you something right now. If you're listening to it, my my friend, listen to this. Knowledge is no more a differentiator. Knowledge is the entry fee. It doesn't make you a champion. It's just the entry fee to the stadium. Like now you are a now you get to enter the stadium. Now when you get in, into a, get into a stadium, have you? When was the last time you got into a stadium, Anupama? I think it was recently, a few weeks back. Exactly. Now, if you have knowledge, you get into a sta- you know stadium. How many people do you think there are approximately in the stadium? Yeah. Close to 1,000 people. 1,000, sometimes 10,000. Yes. Right? Depends on the stadium. Exactly. 1,000 people. Do you think the moment you enter the stadium, everybody's going to look at you? No. But exa- But mm-hmm. on a note, it was a coincidence that I was the host. So everybody <laughs> was actually looking at me. Yeah. People are looking at you. You're right. But not because of your knowledge. Yes. True. Because of who you were. True. And think about this. I, I always give this example. You can go into a stadium to watch a cricket match and you go into that. Not everybody's going to look at you. Why? <laughs> you might be anybody, but it doesn't matter. It What matters is your confidence level. We are in the confidence generation right now. If you don't have confidence, honestly, you will actually be clapping for the people who have the confidence. Buddy, you did good. And he's going to say, when are you going to do good? Without confidence, you're dead, man. Exactly. You are dead. So I think uh, the number one uh, first impression killer, and I learned it from many different occasions. Now, as you know, I've given close to 4,000 presentations in front of people and, and from that experience, and I've learned from different mentors all the time, right? Yes. In fact, let me ask you, do you think having a mentor is important for you? Having a mentor is, I think, as important is is having books for yeah. passing the examination. Yeah, exactly. And I think I think more than the book, I think a mentor is tell, mentor tells you what not to read in the book, what to read in the book, and what to apply. Like I I read this degree of things in my geography, right? Yes. This what is that latitude and what was longitude. that longitude? Yeah. This longitude and latitude never came any into any application in my life because probably the person I learned it from never taught me how to use it in real life. Right. Probably. So that's a good mentor does. A mentor shows you how to apply practically. You go to a course in time management, they're going to say the same thing. Prioritize your life. You go to a leadership course, they're going to say the same thing. Take responsibility for your life. You go to a confidence course, they're going to say the same thing. Yeah, feel confident. But nobody tells you what, how. A good mentor shows you how to do it. So one of the things I've learned from my mentors and my experiences, and I teach all the people who come to our program, the confident man life experience, the confident expert life experience um, is <laughs> the biggest challenge, my friend, is you are boring. I'm sorry to say that. 
you my <laughs> listener i'm saying right now i'm not telling it to anupam anupam is interesting the biggest challenge is you are boring and i'll tell you i'll give you some example would you like to hear some examples anupam i love examples i think uh, a big mistake uh, let me ask you when you meet a friend right yes. generally who's trying to make an impression on you what yes. do they say in the beginning of meet after meeting you oh you're looking so beautiful they start with the compliments so right. i'm flattered right and and what else do they say anybody else yeah and many of them are more interested in the children they use mm-hmm. on how they look on how they stand and mm-hmm. about their shoes and they are not actually interested in the other person they are talking to all right dear listener do you have any example apart from anupama's female examples let me know <laughs> like it yeah. does that that's great that's awesome i love that but let me let me when you go to a party right or or an event they're going to say the same thing how are you doing what do you do um so what's and that's what's, what's conversations are over yeah. And it's like how are you how are you good good fine fine you 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 fine 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 and there's a time you stay? when it's yeah. all dead all dead and there is a pause for a few seconds because they don't know what to say at that time yes here's why both of them are boring <laughs> Both of them are boring. You mean both of us? Both of both of not both. Of us. We we have an interest. That's the reason people are yeah, I'll tell you right now. I I can guarantee the person who's listening right now, he's smiling right now. Listen, <laughs> because here's why. We have an interesting conversation going on, right? We are not just talking, we are having a conversation. Would you agree? Yes, I agree and I think conversation without mm. interest is got no conversation. Yeah, see, we say that public speaking is not about perfection, it's about connection. Exactly. And and how can you connect by being boring? That's not possible. I But think. there are some people who connect with boring people. You know who they are? Other boring, boring people. people. Yeah, right? exactly. So if you don't want to be boring, you have to make a first impression. I'm going to give you some tips right now. Again, these tips when you apply them, you're going to really change your life. And 2018 is going to be your year of of more power, more connection, more love, more recognition, more reward, more money, more visibility. Because I often say in my courses, visibility creates credibility. Visibility. creates credibility you want to be more credible be visible more often people say all the time how do you dude how do you how how are you all the time everywhere you, you i see your email i see your i see your daily mentoring that you said every <laughs> single morning 9:45 yes. am i see you on youtube i see you on facebook and because i have a system first of all you know i yes. don't talk about it everywhere i talk about it in, in our um the higher level mastermind the rule your life mastermind there are different levels to that starts at 24 lakhs rupees a year but let me give you some tips right now number 1 is You always have to remember the seven to fifteen second rule. Do you know what the seven to fifteen second rule is, Anupama? No, I don't know. I'd like to know about that. Sounds interesting. Number one is you always want to understand that you people make a judgment about you in the first seven to fifteen seconds. Really? Seven to fifteen seconds. That's all you got. So if you don't make a great first impression, they're gonna they're not gonna stay with you. And often I say, don't get attention, arrest it. arrest the attention of your audience if you look at my videos anupama i mm-hmm. never say good morning my name is vishal sarkar you dude. have never done never. that i was like <laughs> dude do you want to i am always doing something to create an interest i call it the hook okay the hook like you are you're grabbing the hook from somebody and and you are completely hooking them into listening to you that's tip number 1 tip number 2 is always remember that you don't want to start with hello good morning how are you because this hello how are you doesn't work very well right it it's you right. always have to you know there are different ways to do that uh you can ask questions you can um hook people into listening to you by sharing a current event but by doing those things you always um create great level of um uh, interest and pe- yes. people listening to you so what do you think about that so i think connecting with people is very important in the first 15 seconds because you never get a chance to make the first impression So Bishal I have a question for you actually Sure So if people fail to make <laughs> the first impression Right here comes a very funny question Yeah how to make the second best impression well, just say just type control z in keyboard <laughs> and believe that no. look um if you study communication you will understand that it takes seven great next impressions to delete a bad first impression it's, and god it's still possible it's still possible it's painful now you have to meet that person eight times <laughs> right it's better to do the the right thing the first time so and the third thing that i want to say to you right now is listen to me carefully right now dear listener to the confident man show you can't be powerful when you are needy that's powerful okay many people get in front of the people like look at me I, I, i'm giving a presentation they're like that small little kid who's coming to the stage for the first time look at me Yes, involving every other people. Right. I'm going to a stage. I'm going to a stage. Right. You you come that day. I'm coming on 7 p.m. on that stage in that place. You please come and see me. Do you think a great doctor comes to operation theater <laughs> saying, "Look at me. I'm doing an operation that day there. Please come everybody." Come. <laughs> no. He's going to come and do the work with power and connection and impact. 
and he knows who's the man, right? Right. That's the powerful leader voice. And in fact, this exactly happened to one of our clients, Alok. You remember Alok Anupama? Uh, yes. You're talking about Alok Shivasta. Alok Shivasta from you, Red Hat. Yes, yes, I remember him. And, and Alok, when he first came to us, he was really struggling a lot with stage fear and, really? and connection uh, challenges. And he didn't know how to make a powerful impact and first impression, he, especially in the first initial two or three seconds. In fact, Anupama, you know this thing because of all the people who apply for our courses. Generally, people face the stage fear in the initial one or two minutes. Exactly. And then yes. uh, that after that, the stage fear goes away. But it doesn't matter after that. You have like, Killed the you are out in the first ball. Then yes. you don't you don't get to play anymore. Yes. Um. So and because of those challenges, he was he was not getting the next level promotion. He was not having the right level of recognition. And he came to me and was like, Vishal, I know you are my last hope. And I was like, I, it's an honor to be. And I hope that he don't lose don't lose hope because I'm going to show you how to be the confident man. Worked with him. Let me tell you the story. Right. It's it's inspiring. Yes. He became a confident speaker, and that's the least important thing here. <laughs> He did the most important thing. He paid off his house loan because he increased, he almost doubled his salary in a matter of 12 to 16 months after starting to work with me in the same company, right? He gets more recognition right now. Now think about that. His house loan is paid off. Not only that, not only for himself. Now he ha- he helps other people. Now he, he, he has taken financial uh, responsibility for another kid's education. Now you That's can amazing. only do those things once you become a confident speaker and get the next level promotion. Without that, you have to, you know, with all the respect, you have to suck your thumb, sit at home and say, mm, someday I will improve. No, you won't. <laughs> you have to improve now and today and you can do that. So that's my answer for that. We are starting 2018 and make sure you make a powerful first impression for yeah. 2018. So what question we have today? Uh, today, we are going to take a question from... A person called Nambi Rajan from Hosur. And his question is, I'm a successful entrepreneur, Mm -hmm. founded and scaling up Green Mile Consultancy Services Private Limited. Bringing change in the organizations is my primary job. I'm successful in what I'm doing, managing the projects, administering business, presenting to clients, etc. I too inspire a small group of people. I'm respected by my clients and their employees. Yet, I do have stage fear many times when I do public speaking. Right. Overcoming that will definitely increase the progress mm-hmm. of my business. Being entrepreneur, if I improve, my organization will grow and the people associated yeah. with. Yeah, I think, I think he's the guy who uh, recently reached out to us for joining our courses. We haven't spoken with him or I don't know what's the status with that because he applied. Now, our courses are not for an, everybody, Anupama, right? right? When people call you on 888 you tell them that. Yes. It's not going to be for everybody. There is a selection process. I'm going to tell this. There is a procedure. I'm going to tell it to Nambi Rajan. You have great amount of experience. You have founded and scaled a company to a great level of success. That's awesome. I congratulate you. Uh, he's from Hosur. Okay. So Nambirajan, my first suggestion to you would be completely now. I think your stage fear is going to be more when um, the audience number becomes big. Right. Right. Because I think when you speak to unknown audience or big audience, that's when you're doing good. Because I'll tell you why. Because you have a comfort zone, my friend. What do you understand by comfort zone, Anupama? Uh, I think uh, a little bit different. I think when we're pe- talking to known audiences, yeah. that time the comfort zone is better exactly. because we know them and we can talk to them later on. Yeah, I mean, okay. I mean my associate, our associate Akash gives this example. When you go to a marriage ceremony, the only people you speak to are the people you already know. Oh, seeing you after a long time. <laughs> Nobody speaks to new people. Of course. Right? So that's your comfort. I think your comfort zone right now, uh, Nambi Rajan, is you're speaking only to the people in, in uh, your small group and <clears throat> your clients and all that. But I think now it's you have to have a breakthrough. A cocoon doesn't stay cocoon. It, it becomes a butterfly. I think it's time for you to change the comfort zone, hang out with people who make you... A, a bit uncomfortable because they are in many capacities better than you and you will change everything. So that is my answer for you. And um, that's how Nambi Rajan can completely improve. So what are we speaking about tomorrow, uh, next week? Uh, next week, we are speaking about why some companies are getting rid of the most experienced employees. It's going to be very, very interesting. Why people are getting fired, basically. Exactly. So you have to be on fire and come back to us next week. And I'll be here. Mr. Bishal will be here talking to us about why experienced employees are getting fired. So the final words are that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. connection. Congratulations for listening to today's show. If you're ready to become the confident man in your own life, go to vishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today. For that, go to vishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day.